Well, a few days ago, a guy gave me uh, three lawnmowers. They look pretty good. There's one. Uh, that's just the, the deck. And anyway, here's the motor after I got through working on it. Usually, if somebody gives you something and it don't look too bad, there's something wrong otherwise with the wife that he kept it. Well, it turns out that uh, I pulled on the rope and uh, it's very easy to turn, but then also the spark plug was out. I thought, well, maybe that's all it. But anyway, then I uh, tipped it up on end to check the, uh, see if the uh, blade or, you know, crankshaft was bent, and uh, I turned it and I heard this rattle, rattle. Well, <laughs> that's pretty obvious what the problem there was. So I went ahead and took it apart, and sure enough, the rod was thrown, the crankshaft was bad, so. I had another motor back here, and I thought, well, that's not a big deal. And I thought, well, maybe the uh, crankshaft won't be the right side, but well, usually they'll, you know, they got them threaded way back in there. And I'll just cut it off, and uh, we'll be okay, because that one was a shorter one. Lo and behold, they only thread that thing back in there about an inch and a quarter, maybe, at the most. So I couldn't take off any more uh, of that, cut off any of the crankshaft, because... I did that, why well, yeah, we'd be too dangerous, it might uh, come unbolted or something. So I went ahead and uh, put the motor back together. I haven't started yet, it hasn't got any oil or nothing in it. But anyway, then I, I concocted this gizmo here. It's a shim. It's, uh, I don't know, about an inch uh, wide or something. It doesn't look too pretty, but I don't really have a good way of cutting it around. I mean, you know, cutting on table saw, it don't do good. But in any case, I'm going to use that. That's a shame. They used to, they come out with them. You could buy the ad adapters in case you had a, a different size crankshaft, or you could get an adapter. I've had them before. They have aluminum, and a lot of them didn't even go all the way around. They were just something to space it. I thought about putting bolts, just putting nuts on top of that, but you know, somebody can look at that and say, hey, that ain't very safe. You know, so. so I decided to go ahead and uh, make this little gizmo here. And put it on the bottom or put this back on and set it there so it'll stand off enough and I'm thinking it'll be enough to make up the difference. And that way I ain't got to cut off the I don't want to cut the crankshaft since the threads don't go any farther back than that. And then I've got all this stuff going on here. I've been working on this little Murray, which that's another one of the Walmart's throwaways. Anyway, it runs good. I, I, I got that and give it to me and then I got a carburetor order for that. And that little home light there, it ran pretty good the other day, and now I can't get started. And that other thing over there, I don't know why, it's got good compression, it's got over 100 pounds of compression, but can spark and all that, so I don't know. It, I'll, I'll, I'll tinker with it if I finally get it going. So. Anyway, that's what I've been up to here lately. It's been so yum hot out here that I don't uh, stay out too long, then I go back in the house and, uh, and uh, cool down a little bit. But anyway, that's all that there is to that. I just wanted to bring it to them. I mentioned that you can make an adapter for that something like this if your crankshaft a little bit out of whack and it, it's not a problem because it's enclosed. I'm going to put several coats of paint on it so the uh, weather may not affect it for quite some time. All right, well, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.